Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Very excited to do this as always with all our new phones that we get to try here. So today I'm going through the disabled settings for the brand new Samsung Galaxy A3 2016 model thanks to Vodafone. So this is a key thing for myself. As you all know by now, or if you're new to the channel, I'm actually registered blind. I can't see very well out of my left eye whatsoever. It's very poor. It's near enough a 0% vision and my right eye is not too good either. So that's why the videos are always quite close so I can actually see to make sure that the videos look all right. So moving on, I always have a look at the disabled settings on every single phone that we look at and Samsung are far the best for doing so. They pack in so many different features for every disability that is out there and so many people do use Samsung because of this. So let's see what's coming on their Samsung Galaxy A3 2016 model today. So what we're going to do is tap our menu button, tap our settings button, which is this one here, and then scroll down or scroll up as it is the orange section here and then you go into accessibility and then it's split into sections here. So it has changed a little bit now. Samsung have always had sections but they've changed their section a little bit. So first of all you have vision, hearing, dexterity, and interaction. So first of all, we're gonna go through vision. So what we're gonna do is jump into vision here at the top. So the first thing I want to do is actually just go to font size and I just wanna make this a little bit bigger, just making it easier for me to actually read out the different features on the phone. So starting off at the top, you've got voice assistant and you can turn all of these on. So if we turn voice assistant on here, so okay, when that voice assistance is turned on, you can use then voice help, you can use dark screen, which will actually turn off your screen if you don't actually need to look at your screen. You can use rapid key input, you can use speak your password and voice label. So moving on down next, you have font size and you can see I've changed that bigger here. Next, you have magnification gestures. So if we go in here, toggle this on, one, two, three, with three taps of the screen, quite a rapid tap there, you can actually go around the screen and you can also magnify as well by zooming in. So one, two, three to come out, nice and simple and easy to use and that will work all across the device as well. So it'll work in any app that's able to use it and of course your home screen. Also you have a magnification window as well. So if I just toggle this on and just demonstrate this for you, you've got a magnification window that you can take around the device and actually read something without that total zoom in on the device, which is key, which is nice to see that Samsung do do here. So underneath that, you have grayscale. So if I do this, it actually dims all the colors down and just has a basic grayscale. So underneath that, which I've turned on, you've got negative colors. So I can turn off grayscale as well, and you can see the colors change once again. Underneath that is color adjustments. You can go in there and change the adjustments to color. Underneath that, you have accessibility shortcuts. You can put a shortcut on the home screen. So it's nice and easy to find it instead of going through the menus as I have shown you. And underneath that, finally, you've got text-to-speech output as well. So just going back, that finishes our section under vision, under hearing as well. Like I said, Samsung do so well here and split it into three different categories. So under here, you have flash notifications. You've got turn off all sounds. You've got Samsung subtitles, Google subtitles, left and right balance for the sound. And you also have down here at the bottom an option for mono sound as well. So just going back again, we're going to go to dexterity and interaction. And under here, you'll find universal switch, assistant menu, tap and hold delay and interaction control. So just having a look at some of the other settings that are also available in here, you have direct access, you have notification reminders, answering and ending your calls down here at the bottom. You've got a single tap mode, you've got manage your accessibility settings, and you've got protect as well. So one key thing I wanna say is how phenomenally well Samsung put in all of these settings in their device. Yes, most Google devices will come preloaded with your talkback, your magnification gestures, color inversion, color correction, font size, they're all there, but Samsung just pile on so much more. And for someone like myself that who is visually impaired, it's just so nice to see that Samsung are thinking of those that might have a disability but still want to use the latest smartphones. So let me know what you think if you do have a disability. It's always great to hear from yourself and everyone else on the channel as well. It's always great to hear from all of you. So 
Let me know what you think of Samsung here, what you think of their devices. Are you pleased with what they're putting onto their devices? Can you think of anything more that could help you as well? Because it's always good that companies are always asking, is there any more that we can do? And I always have a look to think, is there any more to do? The one key thing I'd say here, maybe TalkBack is better than Voice Assistant from Samsung. And Voice Assistant seem to be a little bit unstable on this device, it maybe needs an update. So let me know what you think down below. It's always great to hear from you. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. And we've got loads of videos to come as well. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.